Hey everyone, if you click this video, you probably want to see some cool new AI tech. What I got showing for you today is motion capture in Stable Diffusion. Let's dive right into that. All right, so here we are and I am at Sasha Rabitsky's YouTube channel. And as you can see, this guy has 27 subscribers. So let's see if we can help him with that a little bit. Hey, okay. and Sasha here. Now he, he's a PhD student at uh, the Nanyang Technological University of Singapore, and he's doing some some creative stuff with computer graphics and video. And what I'm about to show you here is motion capture video. So let's uh, dive straight into that. Stable Fusion mocap visualizer. So the project represents an approach to a stable diffusion implementation in a motion capture editing pipeline to be, to be able to render human motion data in different styles. Plask, which is a software, is used for motion capturing from plain video footage. And we're going to see that in a second. And from there, the data exported to Houdini, which is a three animation software. You can rig the models for further cleanup and editing. Within Houdini, stable diffusion is integrated into the procedural dependency graph, PDG. Cameras can get it freely created and tangled from the mocha video footage and be used for rendering with stable fusion. Yeah, okay, let's go. Uh, no. Okay, so here we have a video input of a person dancing and with Plask. And together with the Plask software, this is rigged as, as, a, as a model. And then this is imported into uh, Houdini, which is the 3D animation software. We're creating a, a 3D animation of this. And that's where Stable Diffusion is going to start, start working. So here we can see Stable Diffusion working together with this 3D model. And you can see here in this example, the coherence is, is superb. Even, I mean, the face is, is, is not easy creating a coherent animation in the forum right now. What we're seeing here is amazing, to be honest. Let's keep watching a little bit. It's a very short video, just two minutes. So we've already looked at more than half of it. You see this person dancing here. And here's someone walking stairs, I believe. You can see the face is actually holding together. Even parts of, you see, you can see that Pockets on the pants, still there. And the hair is keeping its shape most of the time. Very cool. Let's look at the um, guy here again. What was that? Let's, let's look at this part here. You can actually see the face and the hair, the flowers in their hair. It's keeping pretty quite uh, consistent. I mean, it's still it's still a frame by frame kind of thing. It's not, it's not perfect, but compared to what we have out there right now, this is really good. I like it. And the same here with this guy. Great coherence. Yeah, so the, this was just a quick look at motion capture in Stable Diffusion. If you like this, please like and subscribe because that's going to help me a lot. And it'll show the algorithm that you like this content and show you more of it. So whenever I find something new, I'm going to try and make a quick video out of it. It doesn't have to be a 10 minute thing every time. Maybe just a short update on what's going on. Have a good one. See ya.